Hey everybody, it's Mark again, and I just wanted to show you um, how to set the Lux Pendulette clocks so that the uh, bird moves. Uh, first of all, this bird will never move, and the reason why... is because this lever right here is in front of this wheel right here this wheel is what makes the bird move so I have to take the movement out and put the wheel in front of the bird and when you um, set this up you might have to adjust this lever that the bird sits on I've got another video that explains this, but this video gives you more information on setting up the bird. But the most important part is this lever that is attached to the bird has to be behind this clover we'll call it a clover it's got three spaces on it that makes the bird move and I'm gonna get these weights out of my way and so when I rock the um, pendulum you could see the bird moving. It doesn't move a lot. Not like your typical cuckoo clocks. It does move. And you could see it here also. But if, if it's not moving on you, you have to um, push or pull that lever if I was to pull it more so it goes back and see what happens it still moves but it doesn't move that much and if I was to bring it toward me Again, it moves, but it doesn't move that much. Where you put it is totally up to you. You, um, you want to uh, put it in the clock and make it swing again so you can see if you like it where it's at if not you might want to adjust it some more I think he's sitting down too much he's tilted down too much so I want to adjust him some more So I'm going to put it back on the clock and see what he looks like with the front of the clock on. I have to get these decoration weights out of my way. I 
I think I adjusted him too much. Well, he is moving. But I think I might have adjusted them too much. He... He is moving, so... But he's... He's too far... Toward that way of the door. But I don't know if I can move him over. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And what you do with your clock is totally up to you. I like where he's at, so I'm going to leave him right where he's at and uh, put this clock back together. I had to clean this clock. It had quite a bit of rust on the movement. I'll put a couple of screws in. And see what he looks like. But like I said, I have another video out there on adjusting these. And uh, one of my group members was able to follow the video. And he's never worked on one of these clocks before. But he was able to follow the video and get his clock operating so uh, I'm going to put this one screw in and give the pendulum a swing and you also you have to make sure that the pendulum rod it's not touching any of the metal housing of the clock or it will not tick on you. There it seems good enough for me. I need to put the uh, hands where I want them. But sometimes when you take these uh, hands off the Lux clocks, you might damage them. I find that a hand puller does not work. What I find that works, but you have to be careful in doing it, is to use these pair of dikes. If you put them between the minute hand and the hour hand and squeeze, the minute hand comes right off. But like I said, the uh, the hand removal tool doesn't seem to work that well. I don't like where the hour hand is, so I'm taking the minute hand off. Because you have to, uh, you have to lift the hour hand out of the slot that the uh, gear is catching, and then put it back in the slot, and then I can put my minute hand on again, 
turn the hands. I still got to put another screw in. I might as well do it. My, sometimes my magnetic screwdrivers can be a pain because when you got the screw where you want it, the magnetic screwdriver takes it out of the way where you want it. I'm putting this other screw in because the... Uh, the movement housing was moving on me. The hour hand seemed to uh, move on me again, so I have to take the minute hand off using my pair of dikes, putting the uh, the tool in between the hour hand and the minute hand and then giving it a squeeze you have to take the hour hand out of the gears put it where you want it and then put it back in the gears and then put the minute hand on so it doesn't come out of the gears again so Rotating it to see if I like where it sits. And I'm okay with that. It's time to uh, hang this thing up. Again, I'm going to show you it bobbing up and down. It doesn't bob up and down that much. And the pendulum swings rather fast on these pendulum clocks. I hope y'all like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because it's free to do so. And may God bless each and every one of you. I do have this uh, pendulum clock that I'm still working on. I misplaced the minute hand and uh, I'm not for sure exactly what I did with it but the same situation the uh, the lever is behind that clover wheel for the bird and there you can see the bird moving up and down again adjust it to suit your needs may god bless each and every one of you